watching. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I picked up from the Sephora VIB sale. This time around, I did get quite a few things, so I wanted to share them with you guys. So if you want to see them, then please keep watching. Okay, so I did get two skincare products from Paula's Choice. If you guys saw my last video, I talked about their BHA toner, I think it's called, and the Acne Body Spray, which I love both of those products. They've made such a difference for me. So I wanted to try more products from Paula's Choice, so I picked up the Pore Normalizing Cleanser, which is for blemish-prone skin, which I have. Um, I feel like I get pretty bad breakouts kind of often, so I thought I would try this out, see if it makes a difference. I haven't tried this out yet. Some of these products I did already test out, so I kind of have like a mini review for you guys. The other product is the Oil-Free Moisturizer. It actually, I just noticed, it says at night you should use it. I've been using this for the past two days in the morning. It's like a lighter weight moisturizer. It's not heavy, but I like it. I think it's really nice. It has vitamin B3 and blueberry in it, and it's oil-free, which is good, so I have very oily skin. So, so far, I like this. I've only tried it twice, but it seems to be a really nice moisturizer. Next thing I got is the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi use sculpting concealer. I bought this when it first came out actually a couple years ago I think and I bought it online and I got such a dark shade like I could not use it as a concealer at all. Um, I actually ended up using it as a foundation in the summer when I was like really tan but I remember really liking it. I think it's very natural looking for the amount of coverage it gives so I knew I was going to like it. I've been using it the past two days and it's a great concealer. I highly recommend it. I got the shade light beige. Next product I got is a random one. I don't know why I picked this up and I did try it a couple times but I don't know how I feel about it yet so if you've tried it let me know what you think of it it's the bare minerals all over face color in the shade faux tan this had really good reviews and it's like I guess it's like a bronzer it's like a mineralized bronzer and I don't know I got to figure out the right brush to use it with it's supposed to I guess give you an all-over face color like a little bit of like a glow or a tan but I've been putting it in the areas where I would normally bronze and some days I feel like it's natural and it looks good but other days I guess like the brush picks up too much product and it gives me like blotches so I don't know I have to play around with this more if you've tried it let me know what you think of it but yeah I'm not sure about this one yet <laughs> the next product I got is my first Charlotte Tillsbury product I've had my eye on this for a while and I finally just bought it it was expensive but it's the eyes to mesmerize um, cream shadow I got the shade oyster pearl and it is beautiful so pretty it's like a really nice bronzy shade and these are so moussey like I don't know when I've tried cream shadows they're more like I don't know how to describe it like like a stiff cream this is like you guys could see on my finger like it is thick and it's like very like moussey but that is the shade. It is stunning. So pretty. I wore this yesterday, actually. I tested it out for the first time, but I was getting ready for work and I was, like, rushing, so I didn't, like, take my time with it. I should have put it on today. I don't know why I didn't. But, um, it looks so pretty. Um, the shade is gorgeous. I didn't use an eyeshadow primer yesterday. I just did it, like, super quick. And it did crease on me throughout the day, but I feel like an eyeshadow primer probably would have helped it. But it's nice for, like, a quick little, like, eyeshadow color to kind of give your eyes, like, a little bit of a look without trying hard. That's kind of why I got it. I actually like the Benefit Precisely My Brow pencil more than this one, but they were out of the shade I got, so this is, like, my backup eyebrow pencil um they're both really good though I've been using the brow is forever I got the shade dark brown I haven't opened this yet but I recommend this one I recommend the benefit one they're both really good okay and then next I got two NARS products this product I used to use years ago and I remember loving it um it's the smudge proof eyeshadow base in the original one I know it comes in a couple different colors if you want more of like a skin tone color this is like a white color this is so good for oily eyelids it's by far the best eyeshadow primer that I've tried the Urban Decay one the primer potion I was using that and that one's good too but I wanted to try this one out again because I remember loving it 
a few years ago. And then the last product that I got is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. This was such an impulse buy. I don't know why I bought it because I bought the Too Faced one, but... I've been wanting to try this concealer for a while and I feel like with eyelash extensions it might be easier to kind of apply it with a brush I don't know but this is what it looks like it's the potted one I got it in the shade custard this also would be good to like spot conceal I feel like I haven't tried it out yet so I don't know how <laughs> good it is but I have tried the liquid one the um what is it natural radiant concealer I think and that one's really good so I'm sure this one's good too and I haven't bought concealer in a while so I was like eh, why not so I did get another product that didn't ship yet I thought I would just tell you guys about it um, it's a mini perfume it's the Angel Nova by Mulger I think it's called I haven't tried anything from that brand so hopefully I like the scent it's just like a mini size I really have been looking for like a mini perfume for my wedding day because I heard that like when you spray like a new perfume just for your wedding day or like your honeymoon too and then years later when you smell it it brings you back to that moment so I've been trying to find like the perfect perfume for my wedding day um so yeah I on a whim I was reading the um description of it and it smell it looks like it smells good it's like a sweet fruity smell it's got hints of raspberry in it so hopefully it's good I'll put a picture of it so you guys could see what it looks like but yeah, yeah so I did get that it didn't even ship yet hopefully it ships soon hopefully I like it if not I'll just return it but yeah that was everything I picked up from the Sephora sale I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one